thank you so much for being with me today. Uh, Ordinary Joe, NBC, September 20th. Such an interesting uh, series that could probably get a lot of us thinking. Tell, yeah. tell us a little bit about, uh, about the series. Well, that is correct. It does get you thinking a lot. Uh, it's a series where you get to ask the what ifs question and actually see what happens, which I think a lot of us definitely have. Um, Joe Kimbrough, who we follow throughout the series, is uh, set with the fork in the road, you know, and it's it's whether he makes a decision based on passion, love, or loyalty. Um, it's a very heartwarming drama, and I think it's kind of interesting because you actually get to see these parallel lives uh, play out, which we never get a chance to see the road not taken. Um, so it's very interesting. It definitely brings up those questions a lot for people, you know, the what ifs, and you see him kind of go through these decisions and what his life kind of turned out to be. We'll talk a little bit more about the theme, but let's talk a little bit about uh, Amy, who, who you play in the series. Tell us a little bit about her and what we, what we can expect from seeing her in three different lives. Yeah, Amy is, you know, Amy sees the best in people. She's, she's one of those, uh, it's always good to have by your side. She definitely uplifts you and makes you feel that you can do anything. And I think, um, you know, she is a very honest person. I think she's really trying to find her truth in all these lives. Um, and in that, you know, trying to find what she needs to do and what her decisions are. You know, and I think in some of the lives we see her help so many people and then we finally get to see her kind of put that energy back into herself. Um, she's a very loyal person. She's a very caring person, um, hardworking and just a go-getter. You know, she comes from immigrant parents and she's, a congr she's running for Congress or has something to do in Congress in one, some of the lives. And I think it's because of that that she wanted to kind of fight for the opportunity for immigration and, and things that her parents were able to do. Um, here in the United States. So she's, you know, she fights for what's right and she's just trying to be the best version of herself. Nice. So, so tell me, are there any challenges in, in doing maybe little variances in the characters? Because obviously, you know, different decisions are going to take her on a, on a slightly different path. Oh, is, as an actress, how do you, how do you work that out to, to make those adjustments? You know, they're, they're very little small nuances, you know, because like you said, it's, it's something where, we're, we're essentially the same person. This is up to college. And mm -hmm. then at college graduation, this fork in the road happened that kind of changed our lives. And I think we're all molded by our experiences. Deep down, we're the same person that our family raised us, that we learned, that we were children. But when we get older, we start making our own decisions. And that's what kind of starts molding our adult selves. And I think it's really interesting because in some situations, you know, she's more established in, uh, in one life. So I feel in that life, she's a lot more dominant. She's a lot more secure. You know, in another life, maybe she kind of, you know, didn't do her full potential. So she's a little hesitant sometimes or a little more insecure. Um, and then in another life, she's a, just a completely different person, you know, with a different completely relationship. And, and I think that kind of changes your personality a little bit because it's about the hardships that you kind of go through or the, the experiences you go through in a life that kind of shape you. So it's definitely been interesting to play the same person, but in three different lives. So you know, I hope that, that I found something, you know, in there, because I definitely tried to just create these little nuances in that same sense where um, certain things she's a little more nervous, some things she's a lot more like secure, you know, that kind of stuff is what we play around with. Is there, is there any of the particular paths that you feel like you uh, associate yourself with a little bit more? I think a little bit of everything. You know, I think we always have those kind of uh, those kind of emotions and feelings, but I think with it all, I guess I would have to say with the music world, I probably um, feel more related to. You just well, have to we... watch and see why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, obviously, yeah, very excited for that. Uh, I think you hit it right, right on the head. Just, just the the idea that you know some of these small decisions because it really got me thinking. It's like if I didn't answer an email, would I be here? If mm -hmm. I didn't do this one other thing over there, where would I? Be? You know, just. I, I don't like going down that rabbit hole and I feel like this is where we're headed, yeah. but it's, it sounds like fun. Tell me what, what is, uh, looking back on maybe reflecting, what is one decision that you made that you feel was that one moment that took oh you God, on? I know exactly what now? it is. I mean, this, this one moment changed my entire life. You know, I, uh, I wanted to be a midwife um, and I was volunteering at a hospital all through high, high school. 
I was uh, first I wanted to be a neonatal nurse and then I found midwife and doula and I was like fell in love with that. So I was definitely heading that direction. That's what I was writing my papers on to get into college. And, you know, I was working at the hospital and my life was planned out. I was going to live in Miami. It's going to be a midwife. And I, this is what I was going to do. And my mom one day was like, hey, you know, there, there's a, a contest to become Jennifer Lopez's folks model for her clothing line. Why don't you go? And I'm like, I don't want to go. I don't want to do it. And she's like, come on, just do it for me. And I went and that's it. I booked it. <laughs> and my life is just complete. And now I'm here talking to you about a TV show. <laughs> you know, like it completely changed. It went from a couple modeling gigs to now a TV show to now movies and TV. And it really catapulted my life a completely different direction that I, I never thought was possible. I didn't grow up around artists. I never went to theater school. I never went to acting school. I never wanted to act. You know, I, I, was, I was a town boy, so I played a lot. I didn't even watch that much TV. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I always played outside. I played sports. Um, I worked a lot through high school and stuff, too. So I just was going to live a very, you know, quote, unquote, normal life. And then <laughs> I got catapulted into, <laughs> you know, entertainment, which is completely different. So, you know, sometimes I think about, like, where would it have been if, if I didn't go to that audition? that that competition because that kind of started my name as Natalie Martinez the face of JLo and from there I got agencies and from there I got one opportunity to another opportunity so I don't think if I would have done that I don't know how I would have broken into this industry because I definitely didn't have any role models or I definitely didn't have anybody who had done anything you know I I, I can completely relate with you on, on this <laughs> side of the screen because I actually have a degree as a chef oh and, wow and I was on my way to I was actually on my way to to that next level uh, at a restaurant as a sous chef, and I quit. Wow, that's <laughs> so amazing. yeah, it's uh, it's it's crazy how uh, choices like that you know come come. I tried and go. going to culinary school too, but uh, it was too demanding. I can't. It was eight months uh, of yes. a commitment. <laughs> so I was like, mm, can I go on and off? Like I thought I could do <laughs> a course, and then like over a couple of years, complete my like <laughs> degree. <laughs> well, but, it was uh, always it was always one of those things. If it does, I don't make it. I still can eat. So, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Natalie, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for sharing your experience and, and uh, your what if moment uh, that, that changed your life. I really appreciate that and I uh, look forward to seeing you on the show. Thank you. You too. Bye. Take care. Have a good one.